Let's work on a sequel question using multiple joins. This is episode 20 of my Christmas sequel series, where every day leading up to Christmas, we break our sequel question down in painful detail. Today's question is, Jack Frost wants to review all the cocoa breaks he took, including the cocoa type and the location he drank it in. How would you combine the necessary tables to show each log break with its matching cocoa details and location? We have four tables today. This is an example of a normalized database where data is split such that each table represents a single entity or concept. For example, break schedule or location. First thing we're gonna do is visualize how these tables are connected. This will make writing our drawings a lot easier. We're gonna start with the cocoa logs table which tells us what cocoa was consumed and on which break, but without the details like cocoa type or location. This joins to the break schedule, which gives us information on where the break was had, and then joins to the location table where we can pull in location name. On this other side, we have cocoa logs joining to the cocoa types table, which allows us to get information on the name of the cocoa consumed. Okay, the question wants us to get cocoa type, which is in the cocoa types table, and location name, which is all the way down below in the locations table. So let's put this query together. We're gonna start from the cocoa logs table, but to get location name, we need to first join break schedule using break ID, and then locations using location ID. We also want cocoa names, which is in the cocoa types table. So we're joining the cocoa logs table, to the cocoa types table using cocoa ID. Now we know the combined tables in a way where we can access all the columns we need. So finally, in our select clause, we'll pull in the columns including cocoa name and location name. This is our final query. Thank you for sticking with it. The next one's tomorrow. Follow along for more.